So Glocks just got a huge upgrade. This is a G Flex trigger. It is a new trigger made just for Glocks. Kinda, kinda works. If you had a lot of pressure in the back, of it, it's working. Yeah, this is, this package is pretty good. It takes a gunsmith to open it. So let's begin the package. It's literally just a trigger, a drop-in trigger group. All right, this is where we allow Rick to work his magic. This is only for the Gen 3 right now. Supposedly Gen 4, Gen 5s are on their way. We don't really know when they will show up, um, but the G-Flex drop-in triggers, they do fit into these Anderson lowers. I can't speak for other options, but I would imagine if everything is to spec for a Glock lower or a lower receiver, it should work just fine. I will say, when we were at the gun shop, I was having my gunsmith install the trigger in the gun for me. We first put it into this guy. Um, this is the one that I originally wanted it in. However, it felt very grimy. It didn't seem to work as well. And so we put it into a traditional stock Glock and it felt a little bit better. Not great, but better. We have the brand new Glock 19. This is a Gen 3. Pull trigger back, audible click, that's number one. The slide will rack backwards, a new bull will enter. As I release, that's a louder audible click. That is it shooting another round. Then it'll slide back again. I can pull trigger again, click, release, go. So every time that I pull the trigger back, it shoots one round. Every time that I release the trigger and the trigger moves forward, it'll shoot one more round being two rounds for every trigger pull and release. Um, they're very common in AR-15s. In fact, I want to get mine out and just show them. Normally on a binary trigger on this AR-15, you have three switches. If it's facing rear, this is a binary mode. If you face it north, this is a semi-automatic mode or let's call it normal. And then you have your safety, okay? That is how a binary trigger normally works. Here on these blocks, one, you don't have a safety mode. Two, you don't have a semi-automatic mode. Once the triggers go in, that's it. So I know what you guys are thinking. Who the freak gave you those stands? Well, it was my boy's HP Tactical. You better check them out because these things are legit. I think he gave me three or four, yeah. I got an AR stand back there. I got three pistol stands. They fit Glocks, they fit six hours, they fit Berettas, they fit 1911s, they fit everything. So if you guys are in the market to show off your custom builds like this for all of your friends to see, check them out at hptactical.com. And if you use my code DINGERS, you're gonna get 10% off at checkout. That's the wild part, is that this is totally legal according to the ATF. Now, they don't like it, but it's legal. So we're gonna do a few first shots. One thing that we noticed at the store when we installed this trigger was it's really stiff. It's really, really stiff. I wanna, I wanna go ahead and just pull the trigger, shoot one round, release it, shoot one more round, and then we'll go again. Okay, here we go. Chambered one round, here we go. That was one round, now watch when I release. Another round goes off. That's wild. One more time, here we go. Two rounds real quick. Now, this is actually getting easier and easier to do. This is a brand new trigger. I got early access, you can say, to this one. So far, not super impressed, but maybe as I put a few more rounds down range, it'll start to warm up a little bit. Here we go. Woo! Here we go. Yeah, that's smooth. It's getting better. It's getting better as we go on. Wow. My final thoughts. Should you get one? Absolutely. The reason being is they're fun. They are freaky fun. Like if you guys are into that kinky stuff, this is it. You guys get a drum mag for your Gen 3s. There's not a lot more fun than that. Does this gun become hard to use and impractical for most situations? Yeah. It, it does. But if you have an extra Glock laying around that you don't mind having a lot of fun with and tearing this thing up, yeah, get one. Okay. Um, I don't even know what else I want to say from that. No. To watch the full length? No, what am I saying? 